Hello and good morning. So, uh, what's new since last time? Well, this guy, right here. So, uh, he was, uh, he was a knight before. Uh, he got changed to a warrior, swapped him over to a Terra Knight. You know, nothing too out of the ordinary. Kind of standard kind of stuff here. Uh, generally speaking, this is kind of just the next step to get an Angel Knight, as I understand it. Man, I'm gonna be pissed if that was all for nothing, but anyway. Um, yeah. Tower of Law Eternal. Uh, there is a musical instrument crafting book here. So I've got my three-person team set up. And generally, whenever there's a thing like this, this is typically how I like to do it. Uh, let's see, it's supposed to be a very familiar... I don't... Hmm. Elevation 25. Yeah, okay. That's them. <clears throat> so, I think we're just gonna have Kashua and Sestina just go and wreck the hell out of this upper part, and then have Denim just delay the guy on the bottom until the fairy can be killed off. Just because he is specifically not set up with a counter, so uh, he shouldn't accidentally kill the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I like San Bronza. Like the all of the look to it and I don't know, everything about it. The story behind it, the look behind it. Just awesome looking. It still kinda of boggles the mind to me as to why they put so much of the extra content um uh over in oh and I almost died there. But um but all the extra content in the friggin' Palace of the Dead. I don't know. It's just, there's so many good, good locations and everything, and I'm like, no, Palace of the Dead, though. They want to go back there again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I know, dude, I don't want to run through your 100 floor dungeon three times. It's not a fun place. <laughs> like, I had, granted, granted, I did have a lot more fun with this mod, but it's, it's still, like, the most drab place in the universe, and it's really just because of the all the obstructions that are there. So what I mean by that, there's, I mean, a lot of, okay, a lot of the maps are pretty cool. Like, you got the kind of hallway maps, those are fun. You got the, um, uh, you got the ones that are, uh, you know, like, little jig, kind of jaggedy, uh, little walkways, and those are pretty awesome. Uh, you got the, you got the ones that are just these huge you know open rooms and whatever else. The ones that I'm talking about are what I'm gonna go ahead and call fire emblem maps. Um, like every time there's a fire emblem map that's like an inside of a castle or something else, where it's not that it's actually a hard fight there. It's more just you're stuck in an annoying thing of trying to shuffle your guys around a million turns in a row. Because you can't get the right guy to the front, because all your, you know, heavy guys are too slow, and all your slow, your speedy guys can't exactly get into position, and it's just more annoying than anything else, and that's the problem. So those specific maps, and I believe, let's see, there's one of them that I really liked the first time around, and not so much the second one, and it's kind of like the setup of several square rooms. And from from some you know ways that it's used, it comes out pretty awesome. You know, there are, there are a couple times where yeah, you come from the right angle, and it's like okay, you have this map advantage here. Normally, you know, I wouldn't say hey, you know, it's cool to have a map advantage here, but whatever. It's it's nice because there isn't a whole lot of slog to it. It's you know all good. Uh, I'm gonna reload it if. That wasn't, you know, if that wasn't the item. But yeah, so, sometimes it's nice, but two-thirds of the time that that particular map is used, um, uh, by the way, the, what I'm referring to as the, the good use of the map is the one where you probably went and tried to kill off a stone golem, uh, golem for a, um, uh, I think it was a Daedalus rack, or no, a Daedalus pinion, uh, repeatedly. That's, uh, that's the one I'm talking about being a good one, because... It has this grid of rooms, and you just start in the middle. You can spread out to deal with everybody as you want to deal with them. There we go, Musical Instruments 1. So, yeah, you can just spread out and deal with them as you will. Now, a lot of the other times, they're like, Oh, you started this far corner of the map, hope you like hiking. 
And, uh, yeah, that's exactly what you end up doing. Like, just a long as crap slog to actually, uh, get anywhere. And those just aren't terribly fun. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's say... Get some of the more armored up dudes here. They probably... Or, um, Saria instead of Olivia. This is the one that I'm gonna. It looks like I'm gonna need a lot of uh, casters for this one. Mm, do I want to bring the necromancers? Yeah, maybe just in case uh, there is any kind of mass undead situation. Mm. I'll probably bring Tammuz and uh, Yuria just for their flight abilities. And let's see. This one should be a story battle, I believe. Mm. There's watery greaves on a flood dragon, but only in the non-story version, so nothing to worry about. The Paul. Oh. Wait, crap! I needed to bring my dude. Oops! I accidentally hit the button. Alright. In that case, let's do this again. Uh, yeah, these two are gonna be the main... Actually, no, let's do them here. Kind of the main battle couple going on here anyway. Probably put the two flyers up front. Put Royal in here. Probably actually equip him, because he's actually gonna be fighting this time around. Uh, Ace... Uh, probably Rudlum. Uh, hopefully he actually can. Uh, he has a tendency to get himself killed off, unfortunately. And yeah, let's just bring one of the Necromancers. Uh, probably Bayon. I don't know if I actually mentioned that I turned Bayon into a Necromancer. But that's what he is. Now, actually I'm going to change him back to a Knight. Because if I recall, their uh, weapon loadouts are pretty similar. And he's mostly trained up for one-handers anyway. And I don't think they can immediately take away his equipment, so this should help. Give him a rosary. Okay, probably give him that thing, why not? And Vicrant. Get some Vicrant mail in here. Make you all strong. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, what other skills can you use here? Mm. Probably just counter. Yeah. That'll do. And then I think he can learn divine. Because I think angels can still heal. Uh, let's... let's see, uh... I think I have a heal in here. Uh, he should be the same level, so... Pop that on him. See if this turns out to be a horrible idea, but whatever. Also, just occurred to me, yeah, that lady's cheating. Whoever they are, they are frickin' cheating, because you can only have uh, one of any of the uh, yellow-bordered items. Which I uh, looked at recently. I was double-checking that, uh, you know, the usual checking between the original game and this one type situation. And, uh... Wow, this lady's creepy. Looks like my friggin' psycho mom. Um, but yeah, those things have a yellow background, so you can only have one of them. Dude, seriously? You went through all that crap. All that crap to bring back a couple generic soldiers. Oh well. Fair enough. Actually, I believe you can actually recruit those two in this fight. 
Because I know these uh, these angels are recruitable. I was kind of curious if they have uh, any particular names. And I keep wondering whether uh, Alos and Floros are anywhere in this game. Because you got some references to some other random uh, characters from uh, Night of Lotus. I was expected to just, like, find a couple somewhere that were those two. Oh well. Uh, I mean, they've got archers, that's not great. But, I've got a buttload of, uh, friggin' casters, so that should be no problem whatsoever, as long as they stick to the wall here. Part three. Part three, making a friggin' angel dude. I seriously don't get what the point was in going through all that effort, since I will immediately not be able to use them. Oh well. Probably check what their skill sets are, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they can use Draconic. I didn't know they could do that. That's nifty. Alright, so, part three here. Save, just in case everything goes horribly wrong. forward. Slap this horrible, crusty device into his eye socket or whatever. And become an angel, because that's how this works. And he becomes all Roman looking. Oh, well, that should be cool. We'll see what that actually accomplishes, if anything. Uh, have Tammuz fly up to the front here, start smacking around dudes with impunity, because that's what he does best. Uh, yeah, you guys, despite your... Freakishly good funding, apparently. Uh, not, uh, not a huge threat, although this does actually explain what was going on earlier. I was asking what the hell the deal was with uh, finding the Burnhams in the friggin' Palace of the Dead. Guess they're surprisingly well versed in everything. <laughs> Oh, and goodbye to your archers. It is a shame how you used to have a couple of those. Also kind of a shame that you keep just sort of showing up all over the place. <laughs> well, truth be told, they would have been better off with an army of skeletons. As I gotta say, so far all the rest of these guys aren't working out too well for them, and, well, if they're gonna get killed off repeatedly, they might as well go for ones that'll at least come back. Because how many people can they possibly recruit to their friggin', like, crazy terrorist organization, you know? Oh, so where the hell were they earlier? They're like, oh, we deposed this guy. Like, yeah, suddenly everything got better. Depose that guy, sure. Although, to be fair, I guess there are, you know, there are always people that end up coming up and doing that. Oh, everything got better. It was better when everything was all controlled by crazy people. No, 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 no. 
Actually, there have been some examples of that lately. Except more of the opposite thing. Like, oh, all the good people left. Oh, no, it's all good now. How dare you question it. Always kind of depressing to see. Usually I don't care much for politics, but... Man, stuff's gotten friggin' bizarre lately. The only possible way to describe it. Like living in some friggin' episode of the Twilight Zone or something. Oh dang well. Back to this thing, which is making more sense at the moment. And he flew off a cliff. Didn't care because he had wings, which is kind of funny because the fairies and the gremlins, they also have wings. But guess what? They will completely die if they get shot off a cliff or fall in a hole or anything else. Despite the overall more proportionate nature of their bodies. Uh, oh, maybe that's something that needs to be um, modded in. It does seem like it's convenient because I hate fighting those things, but when it comes to gremlins and fairies and crap, why can't they fly? I know they were able to fly in previous iterations, I know they still can fly to some very limited degree, but like, they get fall damage. They're the only things that physically should be able to fly. Like Angel Knights and things? Those wings aren't near big enough for them to fly. So, I don't know. <laughs> he can use heals, okay good. This makes much more sense. I like this. I really like this. This is what it should take to get a uh, friggin' uh, knight that heals. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's a shame how you... Well, they're all just squishy up here. It's a shame if someone, you know, just kind of came and single-handedly smacked down the hell out of your leader. She's silenced somehow. I guess there was a ruination smacked on her at some point. And then Illumina. Yeah, I do. Not that it really helps, because the fight's going to be over by the time she's going to get any chance to cast anything, but whatever. <laughs> no, I'm also kind of over... Uh, kind of glad that I over-leveled my, uh, my clerics and stuff. Because there's so many different healing options that I never even... Or, like alternatives to everything really that I never really looked into. So, uh, you know, like instead of uh, going and exercising things, got necromancers and, th and stuff with uh, banish and consecrate. Instead of, um, instead of heals, well, obviously there's items and purifies and things like that sort of thing. Oh my god, somebody used petrifog in a way that made sense. No way. I mean, you didn't just use an arm a bunch of close-range guys when you have only friggin' mages around? It's a miracle. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you, um... If you leave them to do AI training stuff, and don't take Earth and Dark off of people, they will repeatedly get people, uh, get your own people killed, because they'll go and they'll petrify somebody that's ludicrously tough while having no way to actually damage them and make them immune to their only damage source, and then, uh, yeah, they're just boned at that point. <laughs> like, they just can't do anything. Like, all these mages, like, w dancing around, attempting to hit this guy with sticks or thunder flares and whatever else, apparently forgetting sticks half the time, despite, you know, having them. See, so even though the sticks do more damage, I guess they count it before, they count their damage before defenses or something? Because they literally will just go and repeatedly do ones with, like, a Thunder Flare or something instead of going and attacking them directly. I... have no idea why. That's... I mean, that, that was the only theory I could come up with. I want a few smack her with a guitar. There we go. Because she has an electric guitar. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Wait, no! I thought this thing was electric. Which one's freaking electric, then? I could've sworn it was electric. Whatever. I'm an idiot. Uh, we'll just ignore that. 
Is that the dagger that's electric? I don't know. Somebody's got one of those friggin' things that's electric. I meant to make that thing electric, but apparently did something wrong. Big shock. And apparently the uh, finished versions aren't actually getting replaced anytime soon. So I might just have unique weapons for uh, for this save file. Because apparently the uh, they have some weird programming thing uh, with how they're put together. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. I don't really know how to describe that weird programming thing that I just mentioned. Uh, to my understanding, it's just something along the lines of the item requires like, the specific stats to be transferred over in order to use. Or something like that. But he said that he can't really mess with them yet, anyway. <laughs> Alright, oh. It's gonna be a while till the Tamuz comes back into play. At least the casters are getting close. I mean, there's not really much they can do at this point. <laughs> it sure would be a shame if you ate dirt. Also, I just want to get that guy out of his height advantage. Not exactly doing many favors. <laughs> Plus, for now, uh, these kind of just damage spreadings are keeping all their healing occupied. Realistically, all I need is for uh, Royal to get close to their leader, put in a slash, and for Tamuz to wake up and toss a bowl at her neck, but. You know, I don't know when he's waking up, so... Whatever. And yeah, I I completely forgot how awesome the Angel Knights looked. At least the male ones do. The male ones kind of look like, um... Kind of like the, uh, what's it? Would they be sirens in this case? I don't know, the... The witches, which... I mean, I guess they would, they would be sirens if we were playing the original, but... That kind of weird listless look they've got going on. Like that one. So it occurs to me that's what they used for that, uh... Oh, what's it? The, the witch uh, that they had earlier, except they were a wiki. Another one from POTD. Another one lasted like five seconds and then died. Like I'm the most ancient thing ever, dead. That one. <laughs> And you guys do realize that as soon as Denim gets up there, just everybody's dead at that point, right? Like, nobody can friggin' touch him at this point. Nice. Alright, come on, wake up to Moose. Dang it. Oh well, Royal might still be able to finish off the fight. It's very, very, very nice being able to have everyone have their maximum movement right off the bat now. It's just so much more intuitive. Just, again, I'm kind of used to KOL more or less, despite playing this for years longer. Um, always been kind of used to the way the KOL did it. Like, everybody has a pretty decent amount of movement, and if you, they've got low movement, you've done something horribly wrong. Is just more interesting when they can move around farther. At least, in my opinion. Man, that is a absolute minefield of Rampart Auras. Wait. Why don't you add your weapon? Oh well. Doesn't even matter. Oh no, not friggin' 
spoil heal on that guy. And your own healer. That's such a good idea. Thanks, terrible AI. <laughs> wonder what it would actually take for the AI to understand what good placement of uh, phalanxes and stuff would be. Like, I understand that's way too complicated to program into a game like this. Though there has to, I mean... I think it would have to be built from the ground up in order to actually work that way. Also, I'm actually gonna go back and see about stunning this guy or something, because I don't want him to be taking that bag, whatever it is. Can I somehow... Boy, nature's touch. I really missed that. That won't exactly be enough to stop him from running, but... Maybe it'll cause him to heal and go in a different direction. Actually, there's no rare drops in this one, so I guess it's not really a worry. Eric. Apparently, there is a plan to turn Sax into like a one, uh, one tile step at some point. It sounded really cool. So, can't wait for that update. That should prevent loot stealing and things like that. Dude, lady, get over it. I've already been exonerated from that. Leaves are friggin' angels behind, like, uh... Lady? What about us? <laughs> We're still here. <laughs> Yay! He's a level 3 now! I'm totally gonna use him in this next fight. Um, <laughs> yeah, what do we got for 4 and 5? Let's see, the one that I know I need to get... Oh, once we get to the floating ruins, there's a uh, Zephyros on the first floor. I believe that's the last item that I need. Let's see... Four has nothing, five has the friggin' instrument. Uh, next, actually, useful things quite a bit down here, actually. Actually, no, the next useful thing is on floor 12. Oh man, there's so many floors to this thing. I don't want to go through so many floors. <sighs> Fine, whatever. More floors tomorrow, but yeah, um... There's Putrefy 2 that's available. There's all the tier 4 missiles I can get elsewhere. And then other than that... I don't know what a... Oh wait, there's some dances. Um, actually no, floor 12 is... Floor 12 doesn't even matter, because apparently that... Um, there's only that uh, Putrefy 2 that can drop there anyway. There's the whole post-story other drops that you can go back and get. Kind of situation. Anyway, um, I'll, uh, alright, I'll see you in the next bit.